Dogs have been our closest friends throughout human history and have offered us love, loyalty and protection. In this video, I will give information about the history of dogs. The birth of dogs, mating of dogs, their care when they are puppies and adults, their benefits for humans and their surprising features. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell to see new videos. I hope you enjoy watching. The first dogs came from a small branch of grey wolves that lived in the region corresponding to today's India 12 to 14,000 years ago. This species of grey wolf, known as Canis lupus polypes, later spread throughout Europe, Asia, and North America. In addition, there is the possibility that the ancestors of some today's African dog species were jackals rather than wolves. According to the fossil record, before the beginning of the Bronze Age call, 4500 BC, there were five main dog breeds in the world, mastiffs, wolf-like dogs, sight-tracking hounds, hunting dogs, pointers, and shepherd dogs. In ancient Egyptian civilization call, 3000 BC. Dogs were considered sacred. Only the royal family was allowed to have purebred dogs. The dogs were cared for by assigned servants and wore jeweled collars and harnesses. Nobles were buried with their beloved dogs to protect them in the afterlife. Dogs are animals from the Canidae family of the carnivorous order and are the oldest animals that make friends with humans. Domestication of dogs began in Central Asia or China about 15,000 years ago. The ancestor of dogs is the grey wolf Canis lupus. Wolves are descendants of a small mammal called Myases, which emerged to 2-3 million years ago and lived 60 million years ago. Dogs differed from wolves genetically, physically and behaviorally and are divided into more than 400 breeds. However, According to the organization called Federation Sinologica Internationale FCI, which is the registry association with the largest database in the world, the total number of dog breeds is 368. This is the number of official breeds recognized by FCI. Apart from this, there are many dog breeds that are not recognized by FCI, or are still in the process of being recognized, according to some sources. There are approximately 240 dog breeds in the world that are still extinct and bred. Each breed has its own character, protected nature, compatibility with other creatures and animals, and characteristics such as getting along with children. Dogs are people's best friends and serve in many areas. It takes dogs 6 to 12 months to reach sexual maturity, and 2 years to reach social maturity. Small breeds reach sexual maturity earlier than larger breeds. Bitches of large breeds usually go into heat for the first time at 8 to 9 months of age. Female dogs experience their first period between 6 and 18 months of age, and after that, this period occurs approximately twice a year. As an exception, only the African Basenji breed has a period per year and has offspring once. The male dog reaches sexual maturity at approximately six months and can mate continuously thereafter. Larger breeds may take a little longer to reach sexual maturity. The male dog produces much more sperm than the eggs released by the bitches during estrus and tries to mate at every opportunity until they get older. Small dogs such as Yorkshire Terriers give birth to two to three puppies when they give birth. Large breeds can give birth to 10 to 12 puppies at birth. The dog with the most litters at one birth is a Neapolitan Mastiff in the UK, who gave birth to 24 puppies in 2004. Dogs' eggs remain fertilizable for about 48 hours. Sperm can survive for several days in the bitch's reproductive organs. Pregnancy lasts 63 days. 25 days after fertilization. Veterinarians can determine whether the dog is pregnant by examining the abdominal area. During this period, ultrasound can also give healthy results. Pregnancy can also be detected through x-rays taken approximately 40 days after fertilization. Most dogs give birth naturally. However, 
some ornamental dogs, and dogs with large heads relative to their bodies. They need to give birth by caserine section to give birth to live puppies. Dogs have a gestation period of 58 to 68 days on average. During this process, it is necessary to pay attention to the nutrition, health, and comfort of female dogs. As part of Rishan approach, however, in case of any complications, it is necessary to consult a veterinarian. After giving birth, female dogs clean, nurse, and protect their puppies. The number of puppies varies depending on the breed, age, and health of the dog. Female dogs can give birth to 150 puppies in total in seven years. When dogs are born, they are blind, deaf, and toothless. During the first few weeks, they are fed with their mother's milk and sleep next to their mother. During this period, it is important to keep the puppies in a warm, clean and comfortable environment as their body temperature, immune system and digestive system are not yet fully developed. When the puppies are three to four weeks old, they open their eyes, begin to hear and try to walk. During this period, puppies need to socialize, play and explore their environment. When the puppies are six to eight weeks old, they are ready to be separated from their mothers and given to their new owners. During this period, health procedures such as vaccination, parasite treatment, neutering and microchipping of the puppies are required. Additionally, puppies care needs such as toilet training, basic obedience training, grooming and nutrition must be met. Cubs enter puberty and reach sexual maturity between 12 and 18 months of age. During this period, puppies may experience problems such as behavior problems, aggression, fear and anxiety. To overcome these problems, puppies must be trained and socialized in a patient, consistent and loving manner. What does a puppy? The answer to the question will be determined by how many weeks old your friend is. Under normal conditions, dogs are fed with breast milk during the first six to eight weeks of their birth. Therefore, it is recommended not to adopt dogs under two months old. However, powdered milk mixtures can be given safely to puppies who cannot breastfeed for various reasons or who have to be separated from their mothers early. Milk powder supplements, which have similar formulas to mother's milk, ensure that they get the nutrients, vitamins, and minerals they need during the transition to dry food. Puppies that are weaned can now switch to dry food, in line with their dental development and eating habits. It is possible to give them dry food by soaking them first or to eat wet food until their teeth become stronger. At this point, when making your choice, you need to consider both your puppy's preferences and the veterinarian's recommendations. When the transition to dry food is completed, you must choose from among the puppy food varieties. Puppy foods that contain the calories, protein, minerals, vitamins and nutrients that puppies need during the periods when they develop very quickly will ensure that they take the healthiest steps into the coming years. When choosing puppy food, you should consider your friend's racial characteristics and special needs, since small, medium and large breed puppy foods differ in terms of ingredients. And ingredient ratios, you should pay attention to which size breed the food you choose is formulated for. One of the care processes that people who own a puppy should pay most attention to is when, how often and how to bait their little friends. Dogs, which almost never need to be washed in their natural environment, do not have sweat glands, and their skin health may be damaged if they come into constant contact with water. However, it is possible to bathe puppies for hygiene purposes. It is recommended to wait until the puppies are vaccinated before bathing them when it comes to how often your dog will bathe. The important thing is your friends for structure and lifestyle. While short-haired puppies may need to be bathed approximately twice a year, long-haired puppies can be bathed once every three months. It is very important to use dog shampoos while washing them. 
since the pH value of their skin is not the same as that of humans. Standard shampoos may damage their skin. Grooming processes can be completed without any problems by choosing dog shampoos that contain natural extracts and support skin health. Alternatively, dog soap and dog dry shampoo products can be preferred when bathing puppies. The water temperature should be adjusted to be warm. Their bodies should be wetted to prevent water from getting into their ears and eyes. And dog shampoo should be applied in accordance with the instructions for use. You can also help your pup gain a bathing habit by massaging it while the fur is being shampooed and then crowning this moment with food as a reward meal. When the shampooing process is finished, you should make sure that their fur is completely free of shampoo. When the bath time is over, the puppy should be taken with a towel and dried in a windless and warm place. There is no harm in using the dryer during drying. When it comes to puppy training, the first question that comes to mind is how to toilet train a puppy. Toilet training for puppies is one of the most necessary trainings to enable them to toilet in an area determined by you. You should make sure that this area is easily accessible. When you observe that your friend needs to go to the toilet, you should take your friend to the area where you want her to go to the toilet, and when she does, you should reinforce this behavior with treats and lots of love. It is possible to achieve great comfort by using aids such as toilet pads and dog toilet training spray during toilet training. You decide to choose among dog pee pad types and evaluate your puppies, size, body measurements and habits. Dogs also need care as adults. Caring for adult dogs, similar to caring for puppies, covers areas such as health, training, grooming and nutrition. For the health of adult dogs, it is important that they are regularly checked by a veterinarian, required vaccinations are given, anti-parasitic medications are administered, neutering operation is evaluated, and teeth and ears are cleaned. Patience consistency and love are required for training adult dogs just like puppies adult dogs learn more difficult than puppies but they continue to learn grooming of adult dogs requires combing their fur bathing them cutting their nails and cleaning eye and nose discharge to feed adult dogs it is necessary to choose a quality food appropriate for their age breed weight activity level and health condition, adjust the amount of food and number of meals, and meet their water needs. Different dogs have different needs when it comes to food. If your dog is less than a year old, he may need to eat several meals a day. This can be reduced to twice a day for most dogs, when they are about six months old, as some dogs get older and generally become less active. It's normal for them to want to eat only once a day. Try to feed your dog at the same times each day. This helps your dog know when it's meal time and helps you know how much your dog is eating. The appropriate amount of food must be measured so you know how much your dog is eating. Allow your dog to eat for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then the bowl should be put away until the next feeding time. If they don't eat all the food at this time, they will get hungrier and are more likely to finish it at their next feeding. A good way to tell if your dog is getting enough or too much food is to monitor his weight and appearance. While it may be normal for some more active breeds with certain body types to see their ribs, for most dogs it's a sign they're not eating enough. Also, if you can't feel their ribs, they may be eating too much. If you have any questions about your dog's weight or what she should look like, always consult your veterinarian. Puppies who are overweight may need adjustments to their feeding, amounts and exercise routines. It's best to check with your veterinarian before making any changes. Dogs should be switched to a senior diet at approximately eight years of age. This helps prevent excessive caloric intake and weight gain that can occur in an older less active dog. It is very important to have fresh water available at all times. 
The amount of exercise your dog needs will depend on her age, breed, health, and general energy level. Younger, highly energetic breeds will require much more exercise than older, less active ones. Note that some breeds are not as amenable to exercise as others. If possible, find a place where it's legal to take the leash off and let her run around and stretch. To avoid damaging developing bones and joints in puppies, it is generally recommended that you do not take them for runs or do repetitive high-impact exercise such as jumping from high places. As always, ask your veterinarian for exercise recommendations. Interacting with your dog by playing a variety of games keeps your dog both physically and mentally stimulated while also helping to build a strong bond between you two. And depending on your dog's activity level and your schedule, daily doggy daycare can be a great way to give your dog the exercise she needs while allowing her to interact with other dogs and people. Different breeds of dogs require different care strategies. As a whole, dogs should be brushed once a week to help them shed their coat. Long-haired breeds may need more frequent brushing to prevent tangles and may also require regular trims. Some breeds get warm in the summer and feel better when they shave as it starts to get warmer outside. Determine which grooming habits are best for your dog's fur and nails while grooming. Check for fleas and ticks and remove them with a flea and tick comb. You may need a quality flea preventative from your veterinarian. Adult dogs don't need baths nearly as often as humans. But when they start to smell or get covered in mud and other messes, giving them a bath is necessary. Try to use warm water and a natural, gentle shampoo that is specially made for dogs and will not irritate their skin. Bathing and grooming is a good way to make sure you notice if your dog has a cut or lump that needs medical attention. Create a schedule to take them out, including first thing in the morning, after meals, each time you get home, and right before bed. Puppies will need to go outside more often when they are younger. And as a rule of thumb, they can hold their urine for an hour for every month they grow. Keeping your dog on a leash even when they are at home will allow you to monitor them more closely until they are trained. Also, keep them on a leash when you take them outside so you can teach them. To go to a certain place, you can use a word like go to teach them to go to a specific place. If you notice them starting to go in, tell them no. Take them outside and tell them go. Always praise them when they get where they need to go. If they have an accident at home, be sure to clean the area thoroughly to help them not want to go back to the same place again. Never spank or scold a dog for breaking in. With this action, the dog learns to fear only you. Dogs are animals that have lived together with humans for thousands of years and have been their faithful companions. But did you know that dogs are not just cute and playful companions, in fact? It is scientifically proven that dogs have many benefits on human health. Dog owners have a more active lifestyle, as they have to take regular walks with their dogs. Dogs are energetic and active animals, and spending time with them allows people to exercise more. This improves heart health, helps control weight, and promotes an overall healthier lifestyle. Dogs play an effective role in reducing stress. Spending time with them helps people relax and reduce stress levels. Dogs' loving and calm nature helps people deal with anxiety and stress. Additionally, physical contact from dogs, such as touching and caressing, helps people relax and reduces cortisol, the stress hormone. Dog owners can easily connect with other dog owners and people at dog parks. Dogs increase people's social interactions and help form new friendships. Dogs reduce people's feelings of loneliness and expand their social support networks. Dogs positively impact people's emotional health. Spending time with them allows people to secrete serotonin and oxytocin, the happiness hormones. Dogs help combat emotional issues such as depression, anxiety and same. Additionally, 
The loving and loyal nature of dogs makes people feel better and improves their mood. Dogs help people improve their communication skills. It encourages physical activity, reduces stress, increases social connections, provides emotional well being, and improves communication skills. Therefore, adopting a dog can help people lead healthy and happy lives, however. Dog ownership entails great responsibility and it is necessary to invest time and effort to meet the dog's needs. Dogs have the intelligence of a small child. Dogs, which are creatures that are prone to training, have the ability to learn like humans. Depending on the breed, a dog can learn around 150 to 200 words. They memorize the hand movements of their owners. Dogs also have a sense of time. They perceive colors blurry, but they see better than humans in the dark. Dogs have a third eyelid to protect their eyes. Dogs' ability to smell is a thousand times better than humans. While humans have only 5 million olfactory cells, dogs have around 2 million to 100,000. Dogs' nose prints are unique and unique. Just like human fingerprints, dogs' noses are wet, which allows them to smell better. While humans have 30 to teeth, dogs have 40 to teeth. Dogs have approximately 17,000 receptors on their tongues that allow them to sense taste. This number is only 9,000 in humans. While humans have six muscles in one ear, this number is 18 in dogs. They can also hear sounds from four times the distance that humans can hear. Their body temperature is higher than that of humans. Even though dogs' entire bodies are covered with hair, they feel cold. As in humans, dogs have two types of sweat glands. These are apocrine and eccrine sweat glands. The glands responsible for the sweating function, as known among humans, are eccrine sweat glands. These glands are only found on the soles of the feet and the tips of the nose in dogs. The first sense that dogs develop is touch. This is why dogs respond positively to physical contact. Dogs, like humans, can be left-handed or right-handed, using either their right or left palm more effectively. They are the only creatures that can understand people's emotional state from their faces. People miss their loved ones. Dogs have a feeling of jealousy. They can understand the physical discomfort of people. Dogs can get depressed, just like people. At birth, they are blind, deaf and toothless. They are good swimmers instinctively. They live in flocks in nature. You can tell that a dog is healthy by the pinkness of its tongue, but some dog breeds, such as the Chow Chow, have black tongues. Some dog breeds are deaf to a certain extent from birth. One of these breeds is Dalmatian. Some breeds of greyhounds can run faster than cheetahs. Dogs that have undergone neutering operations live longer than others. In ancient Egypt, dogs were very respected, and people whose dogs died would mourn for days. The most domesticated dogs in the world are in the United States. Second place goes to France, according to studies and fossils found. The number of dogs in the world today is around 400 million, having been on Earth for about 33,000 years. See you in the next video, goodbye.